Hey, what is going on everybody? I just got a quick tip for you here today, and this is actually from one of my patrons, so thank you so much. And speaking of that, thank you to John, Liam, and Griffin, my latest patrons. As you can see here, my tack is on. It is set to zero, and we're not moving. And it's a pretty interesting idea of using this to supplement regen. So you can see these dots here, and that means I do not have much regen braking. So if I let off the accelerator, that little bit of green, that's really all I got. And by putting my Traffic Aware Cruise Control to zero, what that does is it makes it so the car is always going to slow down to zero. And of course it will ignore that if I'm hitting the accelerator. So now I can use the accelerator, I can drive as normal, but as this guy slows down, I don't have to use my brake because the tack instead of the regen is gonna bring my car down to zero. So I've been using this for a few days and it is definitely not perfect, uh, but it's an interesting idea and something that's kind of fun to try out. So I found that sometimes if you're going around a bend or making a right turn, uh, it may cancel on you and just turn the tack off, which you just get you know, a little warning, a little beep, and then you know that it's turned off. Uh, you also will always have this warning up, cruise control will not brake, because you're hitting the accelerator. So the car thinks you want to go zero because you have it set to zero and you're going past that by hitting the accelerator. So as we come up to these stopped cars, I am not hitting the brake at all. And because of my set zero, it slowed me down a ton and I didn't need my regen, which is really nice. So I didn't have to use the brake at all. Now, if I make a right turn here, uh, again, I'm not using the brake. I am being slowed mostly just because I'm already slowing down. Uh, but as I make this right turn, the car is going to continue to try to slow down to zero. And that's that. So you can see it's still set to zero. Um, and if I let go of the accelerator, there's nobody behind me right now. The car will slow down all the way to zero. I didn't need my regen. The car automatically goes to zero. Uh, so it's just a really nice little tip for you if you're using a Tesla. So if you wanna set your Traffic Aware Cruise Control or TAC to zero, you can do this with the right scroll wheel and just go down until it says zero. Now I don't actually wanna slow down, so my foot is on the accelerator and there, now it's set to zero. You can do this in autopilot too, of course, um, which you usually don't need as much if you're using it on the highway. Um, but if I wanna take over, now I'm just driving normally, hitting the accelerator as I always would, and as I let off, if I wanna slow down, I just let off the accelerator and bam, you can see the car starts to slow down. We can also give it a shot around this roundabout here. So just lower it to zero and then drive as normal and see how it does to a roundabout. So letting off, slowing very nicely and no problem there. So uh, maybe it actually disengages less than I was thinking uh, or I had a fluke or something because Ever since starting to make this video, it only had disengaged once and I wasn't recording at the time. So if I turn it off and I let off the accelerator, you can see my car slows, but not very quickly um, because the regen is just still so weak even though I've been driving. It's 27 now, but earlier today it was around 15 degrees, which is pretty cold. Okay, coming up to another roundabout. And again, letting off. Sometimes you'll get a little kind of burst where it, it, it speeds up a tiny bit more or, or stops slowing as much. Maybe it doesn't speed you up. But uh, overall, the experience is a lot nicer than having no regen at all. And as far as I'm aware, a Tesla is the only car you can do this in. So again, I didn't touch the brake at all. Since I'm set to zero, it's kind of in the way of those traffic lights, which is pretty funny. Um, but no other car that I know of allows you to set its traffic aware cruise control or even dumb cruise control to zero. Uh, most of them bottom out in the mid to low 20s. Uh, it used to be 18 minimum for this, uh, but now Tesla's autopilot and traffic aware cruise control can be set to zero miles per hour. So it's pretty fun and it works okay. Uh, like I said, sometimes it'll cancel out on you and I do enjoy using it, especially when it's cold out and you can see I have no region there. So thank you to Mystery Patron for this tip. I hope that helps you out. Let me know if you have used this uh, or if you try it out, let me know what you think and uh, if there are any other cars that can be set to zero for their cruise control, because I think Tesla's the only one. I hope you enjoyed this, and you will see my car in the next video.